Okay, you guys, I'm gonna try and do this as quick and as painless as possible because this mama is hurting. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back with my weekly grocery haul and meal plan. Religion has officially started at church for Jacob on a Sunday, which means my summer of Sundays off is officially over and we are back to late nights. I am filming at 11.21 p.m. on Sunday night and I am exhausted, but I am in a lot of pain. My little bugger, Mason, my middle son, is having like a night terrors thing that he's going through right now. And so he's getting up every night in the middle of the night and he's coming into my bed. But I already have a snoring husband and two dogs that sleep in my bed and put their arms and like this all over me. So having Mason in the bed has been no good and I've been getting up and going and sleeping in his bed or on the couch and it has just done some serious damage to my back. Like I cannot, it even hurts to breathe. So I'm going to do this as quick, as painless as possible just because I need to go take like some Advil and go and lay down. But I did just want to bring some quick attention to my shirt. Um, if you guys didn't see my empties video, uh, I mentioned that in there, but I went to my P.O. box today and a subscriber sent this to me with the sweetest stinking note ever. And she said that she knew I loved unicorns and football and she had to send this to me in time for opening Sunday for me to have this today to wear for football. So I think that is so sweet. So Michelle, thank you so, so much. She said she made this. So I don't know if she has a company or something. So if you do leave it in the description box below, I'll pin it in case somebody wants this shirt or is interested in anything that you can come up with that's pretty stinking nifty because this is so cool and I am so appreciative. So thank you so, so much. Um, okay, now on to the groceries. I did not do grocery store pickup. Um, I did not have time to like sit down and do all of that on the thing. Um, I needed to use some Ibotta rebates, cash in. I had a little bit of Ibotta money. I wanted to get some rebates. Jake had the church thing right there. So I didn't do my grocery store pickup. I definitely felt it in my pocket though because the grocery store pickup is cheaper than going into this store. So I spent $112 in store, um, but I did get $3 back already from Ibotta. There's $2 on Saving Star, and I had $3 in coupons. So not the greatest week as far as couponing was concerned, but still all of this ends up being just $104. So I don't think, don't think that's the worst. And I'm super craving in all these hauls. So you guys will probably see a bonus grocery haul throughout the week. I have a full pack schedule. So it's going to be a couple of days where you might get two videos because I have so much extra stuff going on that I want to share with you guys. So let me get into my groceries. You guys, my husband snores so bad that I can hear him snoring from here, which is hence the reason why I have a difficult time sleeping in my bed as anyways with two dogs and the snoring husband. But then, yeah, now Mason. Okay. Um, all right. So I did pick up these yogurts. I've never gotten these before. I'm not even sure if I'm going to like them, but you guys, they were a dollar. A dollar for four of them. So I think that these are huge though. I mean, they say six ounces and they don't look so, so big, but I feel like this is a lot for the kiddos. So I might split one um, in a bowl with like an add fruit and stuff into it. I think this would be perfect for me, like with a banana. So I'm really excited about these. Um, I hope we like them. I got the strawberry and the vanilla, but for a dollar for four of them, like I just, I had to pick them up. Um, I'm also trying to watch my spending, you guys, because besides wanting to do an Aldi's trip next week is when I do my big trip to like Trader Joe's and BJ's and I try and like keep my spending low on those other weeks so that it kind of offsets when I do those big shopping. So i um, trying to stay around a hundred or I tried to do my best today. So um, I got the bat brownies again for Jake. He only got one out of the other box. The husband and kiddos hit them hard. So Jake wanted these again for school. And then of course he was with me. I said he could get Oreos and of course he had to slip the family size in it. I didn't even realize till I was unpacking the bags. I'm like, oh, this little bugger snuck in the family size one. And he knows I hate buying Oreos, but Oreos for Jacob. 
We're back to Sunday nights where there is never any creamer, not to mention we're supposed to get some pretty bad weather from this hurricane coming in. So, you know, there was no bread, barely any milk, you know, no coffee creamer, that kind of thing. So Daryl only got a small one. He said he should make it through the week just fine. So uh, if not, Aldi's has one he likes. So I always can get it from there. Um, diapers for Maya. Uh, they had my Campari tomatoes, but they actually just didn't look as red and juicy as these. These are by Sunset, and they are cocktail tomatoes. But you guys, look at that. Look how, like, red. If you like tomatoes, like, those look red and delicious and juicy. Like, yes, I want that on hummus with my Triscuits and stuff. Yum, yum, yum. Um, all right, this I'm kind of excited about. So Jake really likes the veggie straws. And then they came out with a ranch flavor, which he totally digs. But I hate buying the big box of like the individual bags because it the box has 30 bags in it. But 20 of them are regular and 10 are the ranch. And even the little kids like the ranch ones too. So then all the regular ones end up sitting and the ranch ones go. So when I saw this, I thought that was a great deal. And it was 92 cents. So... Great value to the rescue, rescue, and I'm gonna try that for Jake and the kids. Got a bag of the organic russet potatoes. Got some organic green onions and some organic garlic. Um, got the kids their vitamins. I actually like to buy the big Flintstone ones from BJ, so I got the little um, Equate brand just to hold me over until, like I said, we head out to the big store. Uh, a bag of the organic yellow onions. Jake needed Pop-Tarts, and he saw the chocolate peanut butter one, which he never even knew they had, and it must be limited edition because it says it's back. So I think it was only Halloween. This was right next to the ones that look like pumpkins and stuff. So I think this is like a, you know, fall thing. So I figured I'd let him indulge while it's a special time. Um, got my toasted coconut coffee. Got these organic pink lady apples for Mason, um, the popcorn for the kiddos. This I already broke into. I had a coupon for this and I've been eyeing these for a while. Uh, I love dark chocolate. That's my favorite kind of chocolate. And I really love the salty sweet and the pretzel chocolate thing. And these are Snack Factory. And I love everything Snack Factory anyways. And so I grabbed them and I already dove into them. And I have to put them away or I will eat the entire bag before I go to bed because they're that good. So I recommend them if you like any kind of chocolate covered pretzel. Uh, heavy whipping cream for recipes and coffee, um, my bananas for the kiddos, noodles for a recipe this week, um, regatta cheese for calzones. Okay, I did three gallons of milk this week because you guys, I ran out of milk because it's Sunday and I've been going earlier, Saturdays and Fridays and of course I'm out of milk. So this time I got three and I know we're gonna go through it before the ex expiration date. So, I mean, next time I may buy three again and just kind of always have some on um, backup because they're seriously never gonna go bad. So, um, I got a, a watermelon. I did get a big thing of Velveeta. I wasn't going to, but I found a great recipe that I wanna try and guilts me if you will you guys know how i am about trying to stay on the healthier side of things but when you're trying to make something that requires melty cheese there just isn't anything that melts quite like this especially if you're trying to make queso which is what i'm trying to do so i needed the Velveeta. i picked that up uh we were like running low on snacks and you guys like i said i'm in so much pain that i wasn't even thinking like i just started like grabbing things and throwing things in the cart and like there wasn't any rhyme or reason i've never bought these they were 90 cents said trying to keep my spending down but i wasn't even like thinking i just like said oh we need snacks they're 90 cents and so i got these ones that are like peanut butter chocolate filled cookies, I don't even know. And then I guess these ones are like Thin Mints. I'm not sure, they're great value. Like I said, we've never tried them before, but it, it there was no thinking involved at all today. Um, I got croutons and I got the Caesar kind because Jake's gonna take a chicken Caesar salad wrap to um, school one day this week. Um, and then he picked this out. He said he actually wanted this for a side. It made me giggle because I think this is the one that Vanessa loves. 
And Jake was like, it's only a dollar, it's only a dollar. And I'm like, I know, honey, the Dollar Tree has them too. Um, so he really liked this. He said that he's excited about taking it. So whatevs, if it makes him happy for lunchtime and he can eat it and he gets it down, like this mom's not gonna argue. So um, I'm in love with the steak. Uh, usually they're marked down meat, especially their red meat. You gotta catch it really like early in the markdown because then I feel like it starts to bleed out and it looks brown and it doesn't look fresh but this still looks red and juicy and I'm excited oh. about freezing these um, and just having like a really good steak and baked potato like that just sounds like a really good meal so I'm excited about that we'll probably put that on the meal plan for next week um, that's a little trick for you guys too if you guys are in the grocery store and then you see a markdown yellow sticker kind of item or a good deal on a clearance meet and you already have your meal plan made for the week when you get home just take this item and already put it on the meal plan for next week like don't just flip to the next page and write anything that you picked up do you hear my dog wants to come in um, anything that you've picked up extra and just throw it on the meal plan so now you already have a day or two decided next week that you don't even have to think which is anytime I can cut the thinking process out I am all about that life um, got two of these again they were 92 cents I don't know everything in their mama today was 92 cents I'm um, under a dollar is better than the DT so I'm working it um, so I got the tortilla bowls again we liked these and it lasted for the week so that was good and then I like the lime ones and again they were 90 cents so I threw them in the cart um, we got organic cinnamon applesauce for pork chops this week um, a sour cream you know we always get one of those every week all right, they upped their price of their applesauces. Their regular great value that I said was so good, it was comparable to all these, it was only two cents more, is now $2.36. This was cheaper, these were $2.24. Why would I not get the plum organics and why would I buy the great value organic one if I can get this one for cheaper? So I got the mashups, this is the carrot and mango. The kids love this so they'll be excited to see that in the fridge i needed rotel for that queso and look at that they have a new chipotle yes that sounds amazing that queso is going to be bomb and i'm actually sharing that with you guys so i can't wait for that and then jake never got to try the other one but there was still an ibotta rebate and so it was not going to hurt me to grab it so i grabbed that i got daryl his french vanilla coffee pods i got a thing of toilet paper we were running low on that and then I picked up this dog food. I know some of you guys are going to give me grief because it's not the best dog food ever. But last time I went and spent all this money on the Rachel Ray one, and then someone wrote me and said it was just recalled. And, like, there was nothing else there. My store doesn't carry, like, Blue Buffalo or anything unless I went to, like, a pet store. So it was like this, Imes, the Rachel Ray one, which was recalled, and something else which was like $47 a bag or something because it was all this non-GMO, which I would love to give them that, but I'm not paying $47 for a bag of dog food. So um, I ended up with this one, and it says 35 years of treating your dog right. So we're going to go with the Old Roy, Kibbles, Chunks, Chews, whatever. I mean, my dogs look their butt, so I'm pretty sure they're going to be all right with whatever it is that I give them. So this was my... $112 before rebates and coupons and now let's get into the meal plan you guys maybe I'll go back and add stickers maybe I won't but right now like the pain is just offsetting all of the good things in life like stickers that make me happy so we're gonna have to skip on the stickers for this week like I said maybe I'll go back and add them because I know it'll make me feel better but for now I'm just going to share with you guys the meal plan. So this is for the week of September the 10th through the 16th. So tomorrow, Monday, we're going to do breakfast. We've been doing this early uh, in the week. I mentioned that just because we like to do the fresh fruit, like the watermelon. I still have the pineapple we didn't do from last week. So I just kind of like to get some of our produce that is the freshest out of the way first. Not to mention, I still have not made Jake more of those sausage on a stick pancake things. And I want to actually try something different. I want to not fry them this time. I want to try and roll them on the griddle. So I figured I'll do a bunch of breakfast meal prep while I'm doing that. I've been doing that and it's been keeping the refrigerator seriously so stocked that there's, if there's ever a week I don't, we're going to have tons of breakfast food or we can always do that for dinner one night and just use what I've already made. So that's really been helpful. 
Um, Tuesday we're gonna do Taco Tuesday, um, and I'm also going to make that chili con queso dip. Um, that's gonna be in the pressure cooker, and I'm gonna film that for you guys figuring with football season, that would be a really interesting recipe to share. Um, and then on Wednesday, we're gonna do pork chops with applesauce and noodles. And I still have some fresh carrots from last week, so before they go bad, I'm gonna boil those up and we'll put those on the side. Uh, we're going to do my cheesy bacon chicken on Thursday. I absolutely love this recipe. This is one of the ones that will be in the cookbook, so keep your guys out, eyes out for that. Uh, the pre-order sales will be just about two weeks away, so I'm really excited. It's coming really, really close as long as everything falls into place. Keep your fingers crossed, but if it does, um, that cookbook will be available for pre-order super soon. So uh, this is one of the recipes that are, are in there, and then we're going to do that with mashed potatoes and corn um we're gonna do pizza again on fridays you guys pizza friday but we had seriously so much dough and we only made one pie so i still have three frozen pizza doughs and that gluten-free pizza mix from brandless so we're gonna do one pizza and some calzones a big salad and like we can even freeze the leftovers or use it for lunch for the weekend um but like i said there's so much dough we're just gonna keep using it until we're out of it um, Saturday we're going to do the Trader Joe's Chinese, so it's the orange chicken. I have some extra pork in the freezer, so I'll make a big batch of pork fried rice. I have egg rolls, I have wontons, so that'll be delicious. And then I have penny alavaca sauce already frozen in the freezer, so I'm going to pull that out. We'll have whatever salads left over from Friday, and I have some garlic bread in there. So that is it, guys. A pretty simple, not too dramatic meal plan, but still super yummy. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this meal plan, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys are new here, thanks so much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the video. I share a grocery haul and meal plan every Monday here on the channel. For everybody else, guys, you know I love you so much. If I have recipes for anything, it'll be in the description box, along with any promo codes that I have and that is it guys so thank you as always for watching I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in the next video bye guys